Hey, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server. So it's pretty simple. First, you go into this site. You would need to download the jar file, which could be done by clicking on this link. Once the download's done, it should show something like this. Click Keep. And then on your desktop, create a new folder. Name it whatever you want. Drag the server into your folder. You then create a new text file. And then click on it. Then copy and paste this code. I will uh, put it on in the description. And then go into File, Save As, and it's rom.bat. And make sure you do this Save As All Types save and you should get this new file here you can delete the file you had before you click on it and you would need to agree to the conditions here to do that you just need to replace false with true and then you run the server again once it says something like this, it means the server's done loading. And then you would need to, you can go onto Minecraft and test it out. So you can join your own server by typing localhost. This will join your own server. As you can see, you can run around, run around, do whatever you want. So now for your friends to join, um, there are two things you need to do. You need to get your IP address and um, you also need to port forward. So first, you want to go on command prompt. So type in cmd on the side, then you go on cmd.exe. This would be similar for Windows 10. In Windows 10, there should also be a search button. Um, so after you get into CMD, type in ipconfig. And then look for your default gateway for whatever you're using. So if you're using wireless, it would be uh, under the wireless adaption. So as you can see here, my default gateway is this. So what you need to do is type it into your browser. Uh, so you need to log in with uh, username password. Usually this would be underneath the modem. So your router or slash modem. So you use that to log into here. So over here everyone's router display would be different. So um, what you want to find is some anything that has something to do with port forwarding. So what you want to do, well for me port forwarding should be in my services. So you see port forwarding. So I've already done it here but I'll do it again. So you would make a new one. I usually like to make it underscore for the name underscore Minecraft. Um, protocol must be TCP. So your WAN port it should be two five five six five. LAN port should be two five five six five as well. For destination IP, um, you go back to your CMD and check your IPv4 address which in this case is that and you add 
and that should port forward. But everyone, everyone's port forwarding would be different, but the port forwarding so process should be pretty similar. So after that's done, type in port checker. And then over here you can check um, whether your port forwarding is working. And also, um, I would have it blurred here, but under your external address, you'll see your IP address. You give that IP address to your your friends to join, so they type that in in their Minecraft server uh, IP, and they'll be able to join your server. And to check your port, if your port forwarding is working, first you gotta run your server again. And once the server's done running, type in under port number, type in your port, which we set it to 25565. Check. If it's open, it means that you've done everything correctly and your friends should be able to join the server. If not, uh, go back to the video and see what you missed. And if you feel like you didn't miss anything, um, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be able to help you. Just make sure to tell me what error you have and yeah.